Well, the U.S. House will vote tomorrow on a bill that would keep student load interest rates from rising. Meanwhile, the president is also calling for action to be taken by Congress. Now, both sides say, I have a solution. But isn't it Washington that caused the problem in the first place? Ben has the reality check you won't see anywhere else. On July 1st, the interest rates for millions of undergraduate students who have college loans subsidized by Uncle Sam will double from 3.4% to 6.8%. Lawmakers from both parties are now scrambling to stop those interest rates from rising. So here's a quick overview of what either side of the aisle is proposing. Democrats want to pay for a $5.9 billion bill by boosting payroll taxes on the owners of privately held corporations. Now this proposal would affect S corporations with earnings of at least $250,000. S corps, if you don't know what they are, are widely used when forming businesses. They're often used by professional service practices like doctors or lawyers, construction companies, retail and real estate companies. Now, one major problem here, Democrats have only said that they might use that tax increase to keep college student loan rates from doubling this summer, or they might use it to finance another initiative. As for Republicans, they say they also don't want those rates to rise, but they want to pay for them this way. Maintain the current rates by cutting funding to the president's health care overhaul. In specifics, a $17 billion prevention and public health fund for immunization campaigns, research, screenings, and wellness education. Republicans say it's essentially a slush fund. They also want to eliminate Pell Grants for low-income students, calling those grants borrowed money and unsustainable. So how do we get here in the first place? Well, in 2007, the Democratic majority in Congress enacted legislation that would cut student loan interest to 3.4% from 6.8%. Yeah, in 2007, these subsidized interest rates, they were already at 6.8%. Congress promised more than they had found a way to pay for, not terribly surprising. They phased in the change over a period of four years. Interest rates on those subsidized loans went from 6.8% to 6.0% for the 0809 school year, down to 5.6% for 09 to 2010 down to 4.5% for 2010-2011, and then finally to 3.4% where they are right now for 2011-2012. So, even though the 3.4% rate has been in place for less than one year, the interest rate is about to jump back up again. So here's what you need to know. In 2006, an estimated 5.5 million students had these Stafford subsidized student loans. Again, at that time, they were paying an interest rate of 6.8%. In 2012, again, we've only had this 3.4% rate for less than a year. The estimated number of students getting those loans, 7.5 million. That's 2 million more students who would need to be subsidized. We didn't pay for it last time, and now this time around, it seems like both parties are using this issue as a hatchet. Republicans want to attack Obamacare, Democrats want to raise taxes, and in the end, all they promise is another short-term fix. And that is Reality Check. If you would like to make your voice heard in the story, head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by searching Ben Swan WXIX.